Hi, everybody. Paul and Michael here. I'm a year. Say hi. Say hi. Uh, we've been uh, finally given some good news. Um, it looks like we've gotten all the paperwork submitted for the state of New York. And God, I hope soon we can get Michael into a day program. But today we want to talk a little bit about priorities or the lack thereof for uh, people who have disabilities and mental illness. Uh, this country, you know, I, I'm not criticizing people who work in the mental health field. Uh, God love them. They work hard. They're underpaid, overworked, and um, they're not the problem. The problem is the system and the problem is our society, the way we view people who have mental health issues. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah. So uh, they aren't even on a priority list. In fact, uh, there have been drastic cuts to funding. And, of course, we don't have any facilities now uh, funded by the government to take care of people who cannot care for themselves. And that's pretty sad in a country like this uh, where people are supposed to uh, have lots of opportunity. Um, people with mental health issues, hi Michael, uh, don't have uh, any say, they can't speak up for themselves, and they're treated as refuse, really, by lots of people. Uh, we have to change that. Most of all, we have to change the way society looks at these people, and we have to make people not see them as outcasts and refuse and people who aren't even worth thinking about. Um, that's the biggest part of the problem. In the 1980s, when President Reagan was in office, uh, funding was cut for all mental health care facilities. And I know of a number of cases when we used to live in Pennsylvania where people who lived in those facilities were simply turned out on the street, left, left on their own, and I'm sure lots of them didn't make it. And now we have this, uh, I've, I've been seeing these studies, uh, lots of experts can't figure out why homelessness is increasing. Um, well, I have a pretty good idea. There's no place for lots of people to go who cannot care for themselves. We have pretty good mental health care facilities for kids, but once uh, people become adults, there's nothing. Uh, there are psychologists and psychiatrists, uh, but there are no medical mental health care places where people who have special needs can go for medical care and for med adjustments and um, for all kinds of advice for caregivers. I mean, I really valued these places. When Michael was little, I could go and we would tweak Michael's meds and talk about what he was going through and, and see if the best thing to do was adjust medication or just try making an adjustment in his lifestyle. Um, and of course, the pandemic has really stressed this because um, these people who are severely disabled, like Michael, uh, Michael has regressed so much uh, during the pandemic. He is back to the state he was at pretty much as a toddler, and it's really been painful to watch. But most of all, uh, we have to start funding things for people who have mental challenges, and we've got to put, put them on a priority list. As I said, they're not even on a list right now. Funding just keeps getting cut and cut and cut, and uh, it's got to stop because more and more people are wandering the streets with no one to care for them, no one to give them their medication. And this needs to change. It's a serious problem. And everybody says, oh, that's really bad. But nobody really wants to address it. I, I don't know of any politicians right now who are even thinking about this issue. If there are, I, I, I need to talk to them. Uh, so please give this some thought, and uh, as usual, this is one of the reasons we write our books, to try and make people more aware. Uh, so thanks for watching, and thanks for all your support. Uh, please keep this in mind, and uh, let's try to do a little bit to help those who are homeless. Uh, yeah, I know some people say, oh, they're just bums, they're going to rip me off. Uh, well, there are probably a few of those, that's true. But most of them, I can guarantee you, are people who could really use some help, so... When you see those people on the street, um, they're, they're hurting. They could use some help. So lend them a hand, okay? Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later.